Hi, hello, my name is Comrade Joseph. I hope you've all been having a great day so far. Welcome back to another True Crime Tuesdays video. If you are new, I welcome you. And before I discuss this case, I would like to go ahead and thank you all for subscribing. This past week, we have reached about 600 subscribers and I just praise the Lord for that. And I am just looking forward to the next 600. Today, I'll be discussing a requested case of the unsolved disappearance of Bianca Green. I just hate how when I was researching, I just found that there really wasn't much information about Bianca's case. But what does bother me about it is that I feel like this, if this case had enough attention, then someone else's life could have possibly been spared. Now, I encourage you all to do your own research of this case and not just look at my video for all of the information. Here we go. Bianca Green was born on March 4th of 1987 to Lisa Green, and for the life of me, I cannot find uh, the name of Bianca's father. But Bianca did also go by BB. She was a mother to a son named Jameer Jr., and she had her son with a man named Jameer Miller Sr. Bianca was studying nursing at a community college and she worked at an airport while you know studying for school. On March 25th of 2011, Bianca is 24 years old at this point and she is expecting another child. But the thing about it is that March 25th of 2011, this was the last day that anyone actually saw Bianca. Because the thing is that two days later, her mother would get a text from Bianca's phone stating that she was somewhere near Ohio and that she would call her mom back when she got to where she needed to be. Sadly, Bianca would never get a hold of her mom, Lisa, and this really made Lisa worry because she was certain that Bianca would never just up and leave, especially when she had a little boy to take care of. Eventually, Bianca was reported missing and her loved ones would work hard to find out where she was. Unfortunately, Bianca's case grew cold, but something unexpected would happen 12 years later involving the father of her son, Jameer Miller Sr. On May 13th of 2023, 29-year-old Patrice Wilson had her life taken away. Now, Patrice was a nurse and she was taken at gunpoint after finishing work. And unfortunately, her body was eventually found in the trunk of her car. Now, here is the connection between Bianca's case and Patrice's case. They were both dating Jameer Miller Sr. Now, I can imagine that the police pretty much felt like it wasn't really a coincidence that he was involved with two women who had disappeared and that one of the two women had their lives taken away. Miller was quickly seen as a suspect and eventually arrested for taking Patrice's life. But this isn't the first time that Miller had any trouble with the law. And I'm not sure if any of this stuff happened before he was with Bianca or if this happened after. But Miller, he was involved with all sorts of things like drugs and weapon violations, DUIs, assault, and even fleeing from the police. But even with, you know, all of this, you know, sketchy behavior, like, um, like, I really hope that the police had Miller on their radar because it's just weird that, you know, Bianca was involved with someone who had such history, uh, such a bad history when it came to the law. And, you know, I just don't understand why the police wouldn't at least attempt to put you know two and two together now my heart breaks for patrice and her family but it also sickens me that there is a chance that miller could have done something to bianca who was the mother of his son and their unborn child even though miller was charged with what he did to patrice it seems like he still hasn't been charged 
with Bianca's disappearance. And you know, to this day, she remains missing. Now, if you have any information about this case at all, please be a snitch. Call 911 or call the Romulus Police Department, which is 734-941-8400. And there is a $17,500 reward. Because of what happened to Patrice and Miller's involvement in it, my fear is that Bianca might have shared the same fate, which is clearly devastating because if Miller was in fact involved with Bianca's disappearance, that means that he might have also taken the life of his unborn child if Bianca and, you know, the baby passed away all those years ago. Like, if Miller did do something, like, what sort of man are you as to take your own son's mother and younger sibling away from him? My prayers go out to both Bianca and Patrice's family. I pray that God would comfort both of these families and that both of these families would seek him. As for Bianca's family, I'm praying that God will provide them with the answers that they have been searching for. The God that I serve, the God of the Bible, is a God of justice and he is an all-seeing God. He knows exactly where Bianca is and knows exactly what happened to her that day. I thank you all for taking the time of your day to watch this video. If you did like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. If you have any thoughts on this case at all, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about the next video. If there is a certain true crime case that you'd like me to cover, go ahead and let me know. I will see y'all for next true crime Tuesdays and I will talk to y'all later.